Hi guys, so on this tutorial we're going to go through installing a fresh copy of OpenELEC onto a micro SD card. Now I've got a micro SD card here which has had a previous version of OpenELEC and if I pop that into the computer I'll come up with here, if I right click into it and go to properties we can see that it says that there's only a capacity of 255 megabytes now that's not correct, this is actually an 8 gigabyte hard drive. The problem with uh, micro SD card, sorry. The problem with this, this is that Windows can't recognize a lot of where the memory allocation is due to that the operating system that's on it, OpenELEC, is a Linux based operating system. However, what we can do is we can go through a process that we're going to do in a moment to reformat that and that will get all the, uh, all the capacity back on the micro SD card. So if you haven't purchased a, uh, a standard micro SD card from, uh, from the Pi Hut or you haven't got one in the kit that you've bought um, that comes pre-installed with an operating system or a choice operating system called Noobs where it loads up and it will show you that you can choose to, uh, uh, to install Raspbian or, um, or OpenELEC, different versions of it and, and a couple of other ones I think then, which is really easy, you just simply click on the one which is, is shown in the tutorial after this. And what we can do is we can do this uh, manually by installing it onto a blank SD card that you've got. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go to uh, the, the home page at freedom.co.uk forward slash s forward slash raspberry pi code setup. Then we're going to go to the menu and we're going to go to the downloads page. Now if we scroll down slightly, the first option is to download the Kodi operating system. Now I've already downloaded all the things on here, but you can get that from here. Now you can go to the official site here, and I'll just click on here to show you. What you'll need to do is for the Raspberry Pi, you'll need to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you can see the Raspberry Pi builds here. And what you'll want to do first off is have a look which Raspberry Pi you've got. Now, if you brought the bought the latest one, uh, which I currently have, is the Raspberry Pi 2 second generation quad core uh, model B. Uh, so if it's a Raspberry Pi 2, then you'll want to choose from this section. If it's one of the predecessors, you'll want to choose one of these. Now, what I would definitely suggest is if you're going to download it from here, um, is to get the disk image and always stick to the stable versions because um, the beta versions may have bugs or you might find something doesn't work properly or the add-ons might not work correctly but I know um, that I've downloaded this one and you can get that from here and I know that through the tutorials that everything works including all the add-ons so if you want to do exactly as the tutorial show you can get it from here and uh, if you haven't got any extraction or archiving software, again, these are freeware, you can get these, or you can go to the official site here. Um, if you've got a 64-bit, you can get that one. If you're not sure, then just go for the 32-bit, and that'll work on either a 32-bit or a 64-bit. What we'll also need to get is the image writer. So Kodi comes down as an archived image file, and we need to be able to burn that onto the micro SD card. Um, so you'll need to download the image writer. Now, as previously shown, where it only shows the capacity of 255 meg, and when it's actually 8 gig on there, we're going to need to reformat the card. And to do that, we can use SD Formatter. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started. I'm going to go through installing these. So these should still be in the downloads. For, yep, here we go. So here's my SD Formatter. We'll do that first. So I'm just going to uh, drag that onto the desktop. And I'm going to right-click it and extract here. As you can see, this particular symbol, this is uh, the WinRAR icon. So here's the setup. Double click onto that and go through, go through this. And click next, next, and install. Now, all the software that we're getting and installing is all freeware, it's all open source. Well, it's not. Yes, actually it is. Yeah. So if you um, if you want to uh, go to the official site, please do. I just thought it might be easy for a, to have a link on there. Finish. So that's that one done. So my micro SD card is plugged in, 
I'm just going to double click on SD format to icon. Click yes. And here it is. Simple little program. Now what we can see is the drive and the drive name. So what we want to make sure is, is that the micro SD card that's plugged into your PC is allocated the correct drive. So just to double check that, we can go to, just open up another file explorer, go to this PC, and as you can see here, we've got the removal disk drive here, and it's under the J drive. So I know it's that one, so I can leave that. Now as you can see here, it says that there's only 256 megabytes available. That's not the case. I know it's got eight gig. So what we're going to do is I'm firstly going to just give it a quick volume then uh, volume label of Cody. Then we need to go to the options, and you can choose a, a quick full erase or full overwrite. For this purpose, um, I'm just going to click quick because it's nice and quick, and it doesn't really make a difference on this. Now where it says format size adjustment, we need to click this to on. Click OK and format. It will give you a warning and another warning and it does it and now you'll see that you've got 7.41 gig it's not the 8 gig that I promised but you never do it's an 8 gig drive but you don't quite get that so now that's formatted it's completely blank and it's ready to be used so we can close that down now what we need to do is here's the open elect file so I'm just going to copy that onto the desktop this is the Kodi operating system so I'm going to right click and extract here There it is. Right, so as you can see, this has got a different type of icon, a little uh, CD. That's because it's a power ISO. Um, well, my I've got power ISO installed, and that reads it, reads image files and a whole host of other files. Now, if you don't have an image file reader for this purpose, it doesn't actually matter. It will just be like a blank icon, or a, it looks like a piece of paper. Um, if you do want to get Power ISO five for free, you can go to the Freedawn Home, which is freedawn.co.uk. If you click on links, it will then come up with this and you just click on software, scroll down, and you've got Power ISO there, so you can download that for free. So what we need to do now is we need to burn this onto the micro SD card and make it bootable. So when we turn on the Raspberry Pi with the SD card in, it can read the information on it and it can start to install the operating system. So to do that we're going to use Image Writer. Double click on that. And the other good thing about these particular software that I've got is um, they don't all have to be used just for Kodi or a Raspberry Pi. They, they do have their uses. Like say if you do have a problem down the line where you've installed some Linux operating system and it's uh, it seems to have corrupted your micro or your SD card or a memory stick, try running the SD formatter through it and it might sort your problems out. So click install. to launch it now. That's probably because I did it from the installation file. It's, it's giving me a uh, an icon here, so we'll just give that a go. Click yes. There we go, this is it. So all we need to do here is we need to choose the image file. So we can do that by clicking on the little folder here. And then we'll go to where the file is. So mine's on the desktop. Here's the open elect. I'll click on that and click on open. And then we need to choose the device. Now if you remember it's the J drive, so make sure that it's going onto the correct drive. And then all you do is click right. Now it says um, writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. And basically we know that it's because before when I wrote to it, it said it had 255 um, megabytes of free space. Um, that's what it means by that. 
it's not going to physically break here. Installing this particular open elect or Linux based operating system means that Windows won't be able to fully read it properly. But you know, if you're installing Kodi on it, you're not going to be using your PC to, to read the micro SD. Right, successful, fantastic. So now what you can do is you can take the micro SD card out your PC and you can pop that into the Raspberry Pi and then plug in the power supply and it will begin to boot into Open Elect straight away and then on the next tutorial and uh, step three I believe it is setting up Kodi uh, we'll go through setting up all the, the system settings of Kodi and then the tutorial after that we'll go through getting the add-ons uh, for Kodi so we can get uh, a load of free movies using Genesis and um, we can use um, you've got all the box sets on there and we're also going to install Turks TV which allows you to stream a lot of live TV from around the world including the UK right so now the USB sticks ready you ready to go to the next step cheers guys